I've been using Windows since the early 1990s and for as long as I can remember there's been a standardized menu structure which is a menu bar at the top and text-based menus which you can click and do this. Everybody's familiar with these. Now if you press an uh, excuse me, press your Alt key, you'll notice that file is highlighted and there are certain letters that are underlined. Now what that means is that for whatever letter is underlined, if you hit that letter, the menu will pop up. So on view, for example, V is underlined. So if I hit V, the view menu comes up. And then underneath that is the menu for view. Status bar has the letter S underlined. If I hit that, then I get my status bar at the bottom. So Alt will underline the letters. If I go, want to go to the edit menu, E, because it's underlined. And then if I wanted to select all, I would do an A. Or if I wanted to insert the time and date, D, which inserts the time and date. Now when it comes to programs in Windows 7 that use the ribbon interface, like Paint, we don't have that file edit view. But when you tap the Alt key, you see at the top left, F, H, V, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now when I first saw this, I honestly thought it was a bug. <laughs> it's not. These are the keystrokes. Instead of having underlying letters, the keystrokes are now in boxes. So, And it only happens when you uh, tap your Alt key. So if I tap Alt and do, and you see the letter F at the top left there, F, and then all of uh, the menu choices have letters next to them to access them. If I move my mouse when I do this, they go away. So this is meant as a keystroke only interface, so Alt F. And if I wanted to uh, properties, uh, you see the letter E near the bottom left there, and it shows the properties of the image. Now here you'll see uh, still the same underlined letter like the, for the word default here. The D is underlined. For these commands, inches as I underlined, centimeters as M underlined, and so on. So if I uh, now these are not accessible by just pressing the keystroke. There should be an Alt and a keystroke. So if I want centimeters, it should be Alt M from here, which it does do. Back to pixels is Alt P. And since there's a box around this, I should be able to use my up and down arrow keys, you know, which I can do, no problem. And to escape the menu is escape key, like that. So what this basically means is that when you see the ribbon interface and you tap your alt key and you see these letters appear, it's not a bug. That's just the replacement system for the old school menu, which used to be just text-based here. But in the new ribbon interface, they use ones with larger, uh, well, they actually have icons, whereas before they did not. These up on top are uh, favorites. So if I want to take, and uh, let's just say I wanted to put the save as function in the ribbon on top, I just right click this, add to quick access toolbar, and it adds it. If I want it to go away, I right click and remove. That's the big difference. So you can actually customize this, whereas you can't. When you use the old system, there's no way to add shortcuts. That's one of the biggest differences between the ribbon and the old style menu bar. But I just wanted to point that out. So if you tap your Alt key by mistake in one of the ribbon programs, um, oh, and by the way, it's different per program. If I launch one of the other standard programs with Windows 7, uh, like WordPad, Let me just uh, bring that into view here. So if I tap Alt here, I still have the FHV, but the commands are slightly different. So V, go to View, and you'll see IOJ for zoom in and zoom out and all that other stuff. But anyway, the point is, is that those little boxes with letters, yes, they're supposed to be there. So if you're in one of these ribbon programs, you tap your Alt key by mistake, you see that stuff, it's not a bug. That's just the way it's supposed to be. Take it easy.